previously on Talking Point. I followed fan turn idol hopefuls as they gear up for an audition with one of Korea's top K pop entertainment agencies. I suppose I didn't get in, so I'm a little bit sad about it. I didn't make it to the next round. I'll keep trying my best until I get accepted to become a trainee. I haven't gotten any results from the agency, so I feel like the chances of getting in is quite low. If Kate had cleared the audition, she would stand a chance to sign on as a trainee and potentially debut in the future. She didn't pass the auditions, but Kate isn't giving up on her dream. She's moving on to Plan B. A trip to Korea. For a K-pop boot camp. Kate has signed up for this 10-day intensive program. Don't be mistaken, this isn't run by idol agencies. It's one of many training programs organized by independent companies, some not even based in Korea. On the final day, participants are promised a chance to perform in front of casting managers. Boot camps organized by companies wanting to cash in on the K-pop ambition have become popular in recent years. What's it like to join an idol boot camp? And is it really the golden ticket into the K-pop industry or just a marketing gimmick? Earlier in 2023, an Australian-based company started by Singaporean Angela Lee Let me get a camera. Okay. Held auditions in various countries to pick a select few to join her boot camp in South Korea. It was like very nerve-wracking for me. Yeah. But I think I did pretty well in the audition. 14-year-old Kate was chosen. She's joined by 72 other idol hopefuls from Singapore and other countries like France, Australia and Brazil. So Kate, how has training been so far? Pretty stressful and like tiring as well. Our days are very long. It's from 7 a.m. we wake up and then you're like dead blast. Do you feel like this is a good alternative because you didn't make the cut for the auditions earlier? Yes, I feel like this like gives me extra training, but also gives me the experience of how being a trainee is like. Today is particularly important because there's a director check-in happening. And what is a director check-in? We get evaluated and ranked for each team. And we have to perform in front of Angela, the bootcamp director. Today, I've joined Kate in her training to get a taste of just how rigorous it can be. To instill discipline, participants are told to stay silent as they wait for the dance instructor to arrive. Participants are expected to memorize a four-minute choreography by today. This will be presented to casting managers on the final day of the boot camp. Dance instructor Anse Rom has to assign the dancers their positions for the formations. Getting prime spot at the centre means a higher chance of getting noticed by casting managers. We managed to like finish like the whole song, but we didn't finish the formations because it was very rushed. Is training for boot camp more rigorous than you expected? I expected that it would be very tough. Usually at home, our dance class, we take about 10 lessons to finish one song. But now it's just like a few days to finish a song. I'm also not used to waking up early. It's like very tiring because we get very little sleep also. 
during the dance class, you were assigned the center position in one of the formations. How did that make you feel? It made me feel very happy, but yet um, a bit stressed. Because <laughs> there's so many like better dancers in the group, and I'm scared they might think, oh, she's the center. But do you think you deserve it? I think so. <laughs> Everyone paid close to $2,500 Sing dollars to join this boot camp. This covers lodging and courses geared to groom and idol. Everything from dance, vocals, even modeling and photo shoot classes. I found the dance training more strenuous than I expected. The other classes like photo shoot classes and modeling classes, however, felt more like courses at a fun summer camp. So how does the training at boot camp compare to the training that actual idol hopefuls in Korea can get? I'm bringing what I've learned to SL Studio, a popular academy that offers courses like vocals, dance, rap and acting. Academies like this run like after-class cram schools where idol hopefuls in Korea commonly attend for months to even years until they get spotted by casting managers. I joined a K-pop boot camp mm -hmm. and it was a full 14-15 hour days of dance classes, vocal lessons. Let me show you. Wow. So does this match up to the training in academies? 다를 건 없을 것 같아요. 학원에서는 아무래도 좀 기간적인 여유가 있다 보니까 그런 기간 안에 이 친구의 단점이라든가 아니면 이 친구한테 어울리는 곡이라든가 이런 것들을 같이 선곡하면서 이제 기본기부터 배워갈 수 있다라는 장점이 있겠죠. How successful can a boot camp be in preparing one for real idol training? 해외 친구들은 확실히 한국에 이런 K-pop 캠프를 참여하고 싶어 하는 굉장히 짧게 오기 때문에 이걸 통해서 이 친구들이 오디션은 반드시 돼라는 부분을 제가 말씀드리기에는 조금 모호할 수 있을 것 같고요. 다만 이 친구들이 그 한국의 엔터테인먼트 회사에 오디션을 볼수 있는 기회를 내가 내 실력이라든가 한국의 트레이너들과 만나서 그런 경험들을 갖는다는 건 되게 좋을 것 같고요. 아무래도 이 친구의 잠재 능력이라든가 기본적인 것들을 가지고 있는 친구들을 뭐 실력 여부를 떠나서 기본적인 걸 가지고 있는 친구들을 캐스팅해서 트레이닝 시켜서 데뷔시킨다라는 목적의 이 시스템화가 돼 있다고 보시면 될것 같아요. If online and offline global auditions are already available, is it even worth it to come to Korea for a boot camp? 이런 boot camp에서의 오디션은 boot camp 참가한 친구들만 보기 때문에 조금 더 작은 인원수를 조금 더 길게 볼수 있는 장점이 있겠죠. Boot camps are unlikely to improve a participant's skills significantly in a short period of time. All that matters is whether they can get idol hopefuls an opportunity to audition for top labels in Korea. So to what extent can this upcoming showcase attract casting managers from major labels? To convince casting managers from top tier agencies to attend year after year, bootcamp organizers are strict about the quality of talents presented to them. Your formation looks messy. The other three teams have caught up today. That's why you are in your position today. Today, over 70 participants are gearing up for an interim assessment of their showcase performances with bootcamp director Angela Lee. It's 8 p.m. now. We started our day at 7 a.m. and we still have another hour before director check-in tonight. Throughout the day, I've seen people start to sit out of practices, even spotted some people crying. Doing 14, 15 hour days for nine days straight is really no child's play. We'll start with B today. Kate's team is the first to perform.
Okay, so we're gonna give all the rankings. First team, Team A. Second team, Team B. Team C. A lot of cleaning up work to do after this one. Why is an interim check-in like this so important? If we don't do check-in, we wouldn't know how far they have progressed and what adjustment we need to make in order to make the showcase. How high are the stakes for the showcase? We have labels that are of top tiers that work with us as well. And if the trainees are really serious about trying to become an agency trainee, the showcase is actually a really important day for them. After the showcase, what happens then? The partner agencies will actually provide their list of who they want to see at their private audition. So it's not guaranteed that all the participants get to audition for this private audition? That is right. Based on the past runs of the bootcamp, what percentage of participants are likely to get a chance to audition in this private audition? Probably around 5-6%. to 6 In any scouting, who will really be the one that they're looking for are usually a very small percentage. There are actually many factors that we can't control. Why is it that so few impress casting managers enough to get through to the private auditions? I'm meeting casting director Darren Wan. He's casted renowned K-pop idols, including Minji from New Jeans. Have you casted anyone through boot camps? Uh, I'm not yet. In fact, it's a little more difficult to get a lot of Korean people. There are a lot of visas that have to pay. 사실 그런 것들까지 고려해서 조금 더 우리가 회사 입장에서는 이렇게 시간과 뭔가 노력과 에너지를 들여서 이 친구를 데려올 만한가까지도 고려하게 되는 거는 있습니다. So what makes a casting agent like you want to go for these bootcamp showcases to scout for talents? 한국뿐만이 아니라 진짜 뭐 예를 뭐 BTS처럼 방탄소년단처럼 뭐 세계로 글로벌화 되고 있고. 이미 되기도 했고 하니까요. 근데 거기서 이제 음, 현지에서 이제 뭔가 반응을 좀 얻을 수 있는 좋은 방법 방법 중에 하나가 그 나라 멤버를 이제 그, 매, 그 그룹 안에 넣는 거다 보니까 그래서 사실 그렇게 외국인 외국인 분들이 이렇게 와주지 않으면은 저희가 직접 나가야 되는 상황이니까. How high of a chance do you think Singaporean idol hopefuls have in becoming a K-pop star? 그리고 여기서 굳이 어떤 싱가폴 사람들의 장점이라고 해야 될까? 베네핏? 네, 그런 거를 그런 게 하나 또 있다고 하면은 대부분의 싱가폴 사람들은 이제 중국어도 하고 영어도 할줄 아는 걸로 알고 있거든요. 그래서 그런 네, 언어적인 부분도 충분히 베네핏은 될수 있다고 생각합니다. While the chances of getting casted at a boot camp appear slim, it's not entirely impossible. Would Kate catch the eye of casting agents from top labels in the K-pop industry and score herself a private audition? K-pop casting managers say Singaporeans have an edge over others because many of us are bilingual. But why haven't we seen any Singaporeans make it big in K-pop then? Like 36-year-old Singaporean K-pop investor David Yong has some answers. He debuted as a K-pop artist in 2022 to get inroads into the workings of the industry. Why do you think idol hopefuls from Singapore have had such limited success in making it as an idol in Korea? There are no Singapore companies that have the required connections to support the growth of uh, Singapore youth, mm -hmm. talents. How much of a difference does joining a boot camp make for idol hopefuls from Singapore? If you want to look at it as a career, to really debut and be serious about it, boot camps are not going to cut it. You need a company or an agency that can get you the music bank, showcase your skills on the big uh, TV stations, get onto variety shows. It's really about spending years of training 
to really make the grade. Because during this training period, you not only acquire skills, but you are also become an insider in the industry. The important part is to educate the parents to be able to accept their kids going over to Korea to train, to pursue a different career rather than a traditional career. Hello, hi Kit. <laughs> How are you? Are you enjoying yourself? It's been good, quite tiring, but still very fun. If Kate was selected by an agency at the showcase, will you let her take that next step? It's gonna be a no, because before she attended the boot camp, right, we have this uh, agreement that she will not be progressing to the next level, even if she's uh, selected. Why is that? Once she's 21, right, I think she, she gets to choose what she wants to do. For now, we just want her to focus on her studies. We read a lot of news about um, K-pop stars committing suicide. Social media is, is, is a very tough environment. You get a lot of nasty comments. So I think we have to protect her as a parent. Why did you agree to send her to the boot camp? I was quite reluctant. I discussed with my wife and we think that it's only fair that we give her a chance to experience it. But the condition is that she has to be able to do well in her study, in her SEC2 level, and she did well. Anything else you want to say to Kate? Yeah, yeah okay, I really miss me. her, you know. I want to see her back home Aww. soon. <laughs> see you in two weeks. Yeah. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. 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 How does it feel knowing that your parents are not supportive of your idol dreams? I agree with them to a certain extent. But I'm still disappointed. What made you want to pursue this idol dream in spite of their disapproval? I would rather do like something I really want to do and enjoy doing rather than being stuck on a job because it has higher pay or like it's safer or something like that. If I wait until the future, I'll be like a bit too old for the K-pop industry. So how prepared do you feel for the showcase tomorrow? I feel pretty prepared. We train for so many hours trying to perfect everything. I hope that I can have more confidence tomorrow. Okay, good luck. I'm very excited <laughs> for you too. Yeah. It's day 10, the final day of the boot camp. We have some incredible performances coming up. More than 10 casting agents have turned up for today's showcase, including Darren Wan, who's casted top idols like Minji from New Jeans. What do you think of your performance for the showcase? What are your thoughts about the private audition? Do you think you'll be selected? I hope so. Chinese, listen up! Quiet! Quiet, everyone! This is very important announcement. Right now, they're selecting participants who are making it through to the private auditions with casting managers from idol agencies. Different agencies are holding private auditions at various studios. We're not allowed access because they want to keep their choices and the kind of concept they're looking for confidential. Darren is the only one who's agreed to let us come in and observe his private auditions. And Kate made it! Turn left.
This year, about 10% of the participants made it through to the private auditions. That's more than the usual 5% or so. Thank you. Thanks for coming today. So you actually got to meet Kate for a private audition. What did you think? How did she do? 아까 처음 무대 하는 거 봤었을 때도 애가 되게 밝아 보이고 캐릭터가 되게 좀 귀여워 보여, 귀여워 보여서 어 이렇게 좀 가까이서 좀 보고 싶어서 어 이렇게 픽을 했었고요. 어 노래도 생각보다 곧잘 하고 더 성장할 수 있는 가능성도 있을 것 같고요. 춤이랑 뭐좀 그런 귀여운 그런 캐릭터들은 그렇게 기억에 남아 있습니다. How likely will your CEO sign her as an idol trainee? 아마 좋아하실 것 같아요. 근데 아마 저희 회사도 그렇고 다른 회사도 고민을 해야 되는 게좀 있다면은 이 친구가 지금은 이제 밝고 되게 귀여워 보이는데 앞으로 잘 클까? 실력이 더 많이 늘수 있을까? 좀 이런 것들 아직은 어린 친구다 보니까 앞으로 어떤 모습으로 어떤 이미지로 더 성장해야 될지 그거를 좀 많이 고민하게 될것 같기는 해요. How many private auditions did you go for? I went for four auditions. Did you expect it at all? No. If you do get a call back for the next round of auditions, what would you do? It has to depend on my parents, but I definitely want to go for it. I try my best to convince them. Maybe I can continue my studies in Korea. More mm -hmm. training. Yeah. This is where the Year End Music Bank, one of the largest K-pop music festivals in Korea, took place. Around me are hundreds of fans and they've been waiting in the rain and 5 degree cold, hoping to catch a glimpse of their idols like TXT, IVE and ESPA. It's a stretch to say a single boot camp can turn an idol hopeful into a full-fledged star like them. That requires several years of rigorous training, deeper connections in the industry and a great deal of luck. Whether our idol hopefuls will succeed is anyone's guess. We haven't seen a successful Singaporean K-pop star. But one thing's for sure. Their love for K-pop doesn't pale in comparison with the South Koreans.